Hello civil engineers this is Zubair In this video I am going to discuss on load combination uh, we are going to use during the design of RCC building okay uh, this is the plan of the building uh, that is experiencing the earthquake loading in two orthogonal directions okay in earthquake in x direction as well as earthquake in y direction okay so during the design of building we should consider the load combination as per is 456 2000 here i have mentioned the some types of load combination as per is 456 okay for the building design in which lateral load resist resisted by frames in which lateral loads are resisted by the frame that is columns and walls oriented in the two orthogonal direction okay uh, x and as well as in y direction here in these load combination dead, dl means dead load ll means live load and el means earthquake load okay so here i have i have uh, uh, considered the factors okay the factor 1.5 i have considered over here and 1.2 and 0.9 i have considered over here as per these are the partial safety factor as per the is 456 2000 okay these are the partial safety factors okay so again here the horizontal force uh, loads are reversible in direction okay the whatever the horizontal forces acting on the structure uh, those are reversible in direction in some cases the design is governed by the effect of load what effect of lateral load minus effect of gravity loads okay effect of lateral load minus effect of gravity loads okay so again uh, uh, in in sometimes in such such situation the load factors are greater than 1 okay during the design some in some situations the load factors are greater than 1 for gravity loads for what gravity loads so that will make calculation unconservative that will make calculation is unconservative so many designs many designs of like footing corner columns many designs in the structure like footings and uh, corner columns and the beam at the ends beam at the ends in frame structures are found to be governed by this load combination this 0.9 load combination this 0.9 dead load plus 1.5 elx okay earthquake load Uh, uh like uh, footing and corner columns are governed by these load combinations okay and center columns whatever center columns we have in this structure these center columns uh, may governed as per these load combination those columns are governed what this load combination okay so uh, sometimes what happens Uh, the dead load precisely estimated than live load okay the dead load is precisely estimated than live load in several courts we have uh, different courts like uh, american courts canadian courts so in several courts other type of courts they are assuming a smaller value of load factor okay they are assuming a smaller value for a load factor for dead load okay what they are assuming smaller value for dead load okay they are assuming what Sm smaller factor for dead load like for example uh, they are taking 1.1.25 uh, 1.25 in the canadian code uh, one point they are taking 1.25 in canadian code they are taking 1.25 okay Uh, again in us and uk courts they are taking 1.4 the factor is 1 instead of 1.5 they are taking 1.4 in uk and us court and 1.25 in canadian courts okay but in india in, in indian standard courts uh, here same load factor of 1.5 is used for dead load as well as live load here we are using what same load factor same what 
same load factor that is 1.5 uh, uh, dead load as well as for live load okay so the code assume that maximum earthquake load again one more thing is here the code assume that uh, maximum earthquake load and wind load will not occur simultaneously in this structure maximum earthquake load as well as maximum wind load will not occur simultaneously okay in in given load combination here we are taking only for earthquake load combination okay so here we can replace by wlx here in e elx we are, we can replace if you want to if you want to design a structure uh, for wind load uh, instead of taking elx we you can use wlx okay instead of taking ely you can use wly okay so maybe replace uh, wlx and wly in the elx and ely okay in place where the wind load is predominant okay the wind load is what predominant okay wherever is the wind load is predominant in that situation we can replace this elx with wlx ely with wly got it okay the one more thing is the we have a one rule uh, the 100% wind force the 100% design earthquake load what the 100% the 100% design earthquake load the 100% design earthquake load in x direction suppose in x direction if it is 100% in x direction if it is 100% we need to consider 30% in y direction we need to consider this one 30% in y direction acting simultaneously okay if it is 100% in x direction 30% design earthquake load in uh, x y direction acting simultaneously and again if it is 100% is the design load is uh, earthquake load is in y direction then we need to consider 30% earthquake design earthquake load in x direction simultaneously acting in simultaneously okay we are calling it is 100 100% and th plus 30% rule 100% and plus 30 percent rule so it is important to note that it is important to note that uh, corner column columns of this structure so we have corner columns corner columns of this structure corner columns of the building with orthogonal lat lateral load resisting system corner columns building with orthogonal lateral load resisting system uh, will be governed by this 100% plus 30% rule okay so we need to consider these corner columns this 100% at 30% rule okay here i have mentioned the load combination that we can use in design of uh, rcc building okay design of rcc building so this load combination is according to the is 456 2000 table number 18 uh, these factors are partial safety factors according to the is 456 uh, table number 18 okay so these are all these all about what load combination we are doing uh, we are using during the design of building okay uh, thank you very much